Hey what's up guys, it's Nick from Exploit Theory. In this video I'll be showing you 4 out of bounds that I just found whilst playing through the game Great Skies. Now I'll timecode all of these out of bounds in the description below and they should show up as YouTube chapters as well in the timeline, so if you want to skip to each tutorial then have a look there. Now there isn't different level names for each one of these levels because, well, because they're not named in the game, but I've put them in order as they come up as you play through the game. For this first one we're in this basement and you want to push this big barrel to the side here. You'll need to push it to the side here and you don't want to push it all the way in, you want to leave a little bit sticking out, enough so that you get the prompt to be able to push it again from the front. Come around to the side so you've got the prompt to push it from the front and push it. This should clip you through the wall and then you'll be able to drop down and be able to explore the little bit of water that's down here. This one isn't the biggest out of bounds, but it's kind of cool because you're underneath the map. This next one happens straight after you've just climbed through this fence and got a checkpoint. If you turn to the left you'll see this green truck. You want to squeeze in between it and the wall here and then take a right. You can find your way through these cars and they forgot to put a barrier here so you can just walk straight out of bounds. Unfortunately that ground that you can see over there isn't solid, there's no collision on it. But you can explore a little bit of what's behind some of these walls over here. This one is probably the smallest out of the four. This next one occurs on this beach after you wake up from this crash. You want to make your way over to the rocks over on this side and I recommend turning on your flashlight so you can see a little bit better. You want to climb up these rocks like I'm doing right now and you should be able to get on top of this one. Once you're on top of this rock you want to try and keep as much height as possible and head into the corner where I do. Now we're going to keep trying to go up this corner here wiggling about back and forth on this rock and eventually the game will just shoot you up and over the rock. Now once you're on this side of the rock you're technically out of bounds but you're still actually blocked in by another barrier so we need to get past that. To do that we're going to head back over to this rock over here and climb up it. We're going to head to the edge and then follow it along into this piece of debris. Now we're going to try and slide along it on the inside of the map and try to maintain our height as much as possible. If we manage to maintain as much height as, we, as possible, the game will shoot us on top of this debris, and from here we can drop down where shown and get over that barrier that was blocking us in before, where we'll now be able to fully explore out of bounds.
This last one I'm going to show you is right at the end of the game here. There's two ways you can get out on this one over here. You want to head over to the road close sign over here and keep rubbing against this corner until it pops you up on top of it. Once it pops you on top of it, you can simply just drop down over the wall and you'll be able to explore. Now if you're having trouble getting that one, you can also just come over here a little bit more down the road where you'll be able to find this growth that you can climb up and onto the wall. From here we're going to follow the wall down back to where that road closed sign is. And from here we can drop off outside of the map. Now the annoying one about this is that you are stuck in this injured state so it means you're going to walk very slow uh, when you're exploring outside of the map. So I'm going to speed up this footage and show you the out of bounds that way. But this one is the largest out of bounds out of all of them. Now I know some of you might be thinking that some of those seemed a bit easy but I did notice at the end of the game that there was only one quality assurance tester on this game so from the rest of the game I think the guy did a pretty decent job to be honest um, considering the rest of the game was fairly solid and you're not going to be able to catch everything as just a single tester. I know because I've been in that exact spot before working on games. So I just wanted to little tip my hat and say good job to that guy. The glitches in this video were found by our team here at Exploit Theory. If you've enjoyed the video at all then go ahead and hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to hang out with either me or the rest of the Exploit Theory team then we do have a Discord server which is linked in the description box below. So don't be afraid to come and jump in and say hi. Thanks so much for liking and watching the video guys and I will see you in the next one.